Hello everybody, I'm Peter Grob and today I'm giving you another capital breakdown. And today I'm breaking down Turbo Universe 11. Then. Now here you see how Turbo looks like. A generic bulky guy with a normal hat. Wow, these fire troopers need the back clothes. Just a back clothes. Complete back clothes. Now that's not it. it waste our time with how that's what his body looks like. Let's go with how his hat looks like. And I am saying you, I am not a fan of his hat. It just looks like those evil Jack captains that aren't really the who wanna be those main leaders, but in reality they're just a bunch of dirty guys. Who just do good stuff for no re just because it's they get better pay. You know in Wicked Warty the newest episode where that cop was basically saying uh feature him as a drug lord and feature us as his pa cops on the payroll. That's what he reminds me of for some reason. Maybe it's because he just doesn't look like because I want to give these guys some kind of a story to make them more interesting. But, nah, that's just it. Now, let's forget how he reminds me of those types of characters, but go to his breakdown. Now, his fine style does seem to be head-to-hand -head combat. Which, to be honest, by his ability, that's time can make a lot of sense. Now, his moves are... Basic... I basically said to be controlling his weight. A really weird ability. So basically that's what every woman wants. Eat as much as she wants. And they never get any heavier because she can just make herself lighter. That would probably be in those those series that a woman has a problem with her weight just because it's a little heavier. You know, make really happy that she has, would have that ability. Why well, doesn't I use a battling? No, his abilities are as far as we see. He just seems to be able to make himself heavier because because he turns into something to basically a stone, and he might just and his whole getting lighter fit is also something he could possibly do. But since we don't know how that would look, it's hard, hard to say if he bas just stays, looks exactly like he looks now, he just is able to fly or something like that. But yeah, yeah. He also might have energy, bl energy blasts, but nothing else really. Now he also might have a communicator because these ears don't really look like normal ears. So yeah, a communicator is a possibility. Now his fight tactic is basically to fight somebody and then when he, he can, can grab him, he grabs him, turns himself into stone so that opponent will be restrained so his allies could take the, the, the restrained enemy opponent down. His awesome seems to be be teaming up with Zoe Ray. He like turn he like goes into him when he does this justice spin and he basically makes himself like a wheel so Zoe can then blast him off for a direct attack. Yeah, a definitely and not worry that you know the only one who thought that was like a Pokemon move they do. I mean it's pretty damn similar when you think about it. Now his weakness is, well, he cannot do anything. I mean, only thing he can really do is restrain somebody. But if he fought somebody like I don't know, God of Fucking Destruction or any other types of guys, that whole restraining would basically be like nothing. What the fuck? Hell, what are you even doing? I mean, seriously, even Magic Car from Universe Three. We actually was able to hold on Super Saiyan Goku and his liquid metal. 
This guy is ju can just turn himself into stone and be heavier. Nothing else, really. And remember, his whole sh one powerful strike pain is because of Zoe. How he actually eliminates himself if you think about it. Because of his because he was still that his his heavy form and then that stage broke. It does mean that that stage seems to be weaker than than before the gods of destruction fought. And now he is other the weak and and maybe he has an energy blast, but nothing really. Now, I'm Peter Globe. I hope you like this video. I hope you leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one in the future. See ya.